The laundry business, the closer I looked at it, the more I liked it because there are some very unique things to a laundromat business. Uh, first, it's an all-cash business, so there's no accounts receivable, so I don't have to worry about chasing anybody. Um, the tax laws in the state of Wisconsin, I don't pay any sales tax on these sales, so that was another very unique thing. I don't have any employees, so it it's, can all fit in a nice little package, and this is just a very neat little business. Maytag, in my opinion, uh, is number one in the country. Uh, consumers know what Maytag is, the brand loyalty is there, the rec recognition is there. People walk in and they look around and they say, wow, Maytag, right away, that's, that's worth, worth every cent I spent. Well, large machines seem to be the trend that we see happening in the industry. People prefer the large machines due to the speed and convenience. Also, the, 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 uh, from an accounting standpoint, the contribution margin, I get six seventy-five for a load, okay, versus $2.25 for the smaller machines. Uh, so if you just do the math, I mean, they'll pay for themselves a lot quicker. Uh, these uh, were probably paid for about the first 10 or 11 months uh, after I put them in these, these large machines. Uh, the benefits of the bigger machines, they have larger inlet and outlet lines for the water, so they fill and drain quicker, even though it's a larger machine. And the cycle on the machines themselves is a shorter cycle, okay? So you get the same amount done in less time. These are the machines of choice. So customers come in, uh, they get a lot of laundry done in a small amount of time. They come in with blankets, comforters. You can get three or four of them in a machine like this. And uh, the, the trend is towards the larger machines. These machines are built to last. I mean, they're Maytags, and I expect out of, out of, out of th this row, row of machines, uh, I'm looking at least 10 or 12 years, conservatively, and with proper maintenance, at least 15. From the, the lighting in the store to the machines themselves, uh, the Maytag machines are very much energy efficient. They're equipped with energy inverters, uh, cut down in the amount of electricity. Uh, the water usage is also a factor, and uh, the building opens and closes on its own. The lights turn off and on on its own. There's a lot of automation and technology that are built into the system. I have a system to remotely camera this building. I can watch it from home. I can watch it from Florida. I don't have to be here all the time. I had a pro forma balance sheet and income statement done. All, that was all done by the distributor. I went through uh, U.S. Capital, which is Maytag's financing arm, uh, to obtain the financing uh, for the machines for this project. Maytag has the name, the brand recognition. Everybody in the country knows what Maytag is. You have the Maytag repairman, he never gets called. He's the lonely man. And uh, I just wanted to kind of ride on the coattails there, uh, take advantage of the advertising dollars that had been spent on behalf of that name. Maytag in the minds of the consumer is that denotes quality okay there are cheaper machines on the market I could have purchased no problem you know but uh, the old adage you get what you pay for and I believe that and that's why I went with Maytag everybody knows what Maytag is and the quality they've come to expect from the Maytag name